Hello and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. For today, Spring Mock team prediction. A bit of a look at what we might see tomorrow when Rusty Rasmus names his side for the second test against Australia, which will happen this weekend. The Spring Mock is currently sitting on top of the Rugby Championship log with five out of five possible points. Um, Archie and the next behind them after beating uh, New Zealand by more than seven points, meaning that New Zealand currently sit with zero points, as do Australia. The question is, Will the Springboks rotate this weekend? Will they go for the jugular and name a very similar side? Um, you know, some people spoke about the fact that they maybe should have rotated for Ireland and the fact that they didn't maybe meant they weren't as fresh as we wanted to be and one of the reasons we lost. Don't think it's quite the case. Um, another thing to consider is maybe this Australian side, especially after having broken the Brisbane curse, if we're going to be very honest with ourselves, isn't as strong as a North Australia side. So maybe there is possibility to still be able to rotate and be as competitive. Rusty Rasmus spoke about the fact that he reckons, you know, the side that play, played against Portugal could give the side played against Ireland a genuine run for their money. And there isn't really an A and B side at the moment. So we'll have to wait and see exactly what that means tomorrow when the team is announced. Before we go through some of my uh, sort of predictions and sort of what I think where they might rotate if they do, please do smash the like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. This is what I've gone with. And uh, there's a couple of reasons for some of the players that I've put in here and some of the players I've taken out. First things first, uh, press conference duty. We had Jan Hendrik Vessels and Marcus Zorman Pimpi in the press conference earlier. Now, not always the case, but quite often players that, that are on press conference duty are often involved in the team. Now, this is not a guarantee, for example. It's not an exact science, um, but if you look over the years, for example, traditionally players in, in the press conference, about 80% of the time, tend to be in the 23 um, you know, so that could be an early indication, for example, that maybe Jan Hendrik Vessels, for example, could feature, which can, I think he'll come off the bench, um, that Michael Zorman Pimpi might be uh, set to feature as well. Talks about Marikai Ma Korobeti being available this weekend and, you know, maybe igniting that rivalry once again. But uh, let's go through it. So I, I think we're probably going to see Oxen Chair, but um, I'd like to almost see Geo Stenekamp get a start um, against Australia, we know what Oxen Chair brings. We do. Uh, he's our, he's going to start against New Zealand. He'll start against anybody that we need to win. Um, but um, has uh, played quite a lot of rugby recently, for example. Yes, he had that break to play against Portugal. Um, and, you know, there is still a two-week break before we play against the All Blacks. But if you were to put, for example, Jan Hendrik Vest on the bench, it would be an opportunity potentially to give Karol Stenekamp a, a start. You could also go Oxen Chair and just put Jan Hendrik Vest on the bench. But I think Karol Stenekamp's been really good off the bench and, uh, and and could use a start. He didn't play against Portugal, for example, so could use a bit of game time as well. Uh, Bongi Manambi was substituted because of some back spasms, so uh, Dwayne from here alluding that there were no real major injuries, for example. So we wait and see exactly what the issue, what, what, what the story is with Bongi Manambi. Right now, as we know, he is fit, but the fact that he did come off with uh, a, a back spasm means that there might be potential for him to be ruled out this weekend, which would then allow Amalka Marks to start, for example, and more game time to Johan Krabula, who uh, the Springboks really do rate. So if there's a risk to playing Bongi Minami this weekend, then I think the easy version is to go Amalka Marks starting and uh, Johan Krabula on the bench. Uh, if we look at uh, Titan, I think Fox will continue to start. Vincent Koch off the bench. We might see a Thomas the Toy. Um, I wouldn't mind seeing him. I'd almost quite fancy seeing him. And uh, I'd almost want to see him start, actually. I'd almost want to see what Christina Kim Thomas Toy can do if they were to start and then bring all, um, on a young Andrew Vessels and Vincent Koch off the bench. Second row, I think we'll stick with Evan Etzebeth and uh, Pierre Steff the Toy. Um, I think if he's fit, Ruan Okia might feature on the bench, but I think that uh, it worked so well last weekend. I think we'll stick with this, this combination because I think that um, if Franco Mostert is not fit, uh, well, he's not going to be for the end of the end of the um, uh, end of the baby championship, for example. But I think this would be the right way to go, almost against New Zealand, and keep Archie Stamen as a kind of impact player. So that's a potential different way we could do things. I think Cecilis will continue the captain aside. Ben Jason Dixon at seven. I think Alric Lowe played really, really well last weekend, and I think he'll keep his spot. I thought one player who maybe didn't see his opportunity last weekend was Grant Williams. Um, it was Kubas Ryanoff rather, and uh, I think Grant Williams has been really good off the bench. Um, hasn't really started for the box at, at nine. I think he's. I mean, I think it was only the one start really, and um, that he's had. So hasn't had that opportunity really to to start at nine. So this could be an opportunity for him to get a go. And uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we maybe see Moni Vandenberg on the bench. Also, somebody that's very highly rated by the box management. Um, so I've gone with Grant Williams. This such fine with Zulu. I think it's a very exciting uh, combination. I think that uh, you know, if you want to play a bit of a high octane sort of. Uh, uh, sort of intensity type of game plan. Grant Williams for me really much fits into that. Uh, in terms of the back line, if Bakasoma Pimpi does start, I think they'll go with Kurt Lawrence. They could go with Chesney Colby. A bit of a, 
uh, a toss of the coin, really. Who you go in the other wing there with Villarreal at full back? I think that's pretty much a given. And uh, then Damon Delaney at inside centre. I've gone with, them. and the only other option really is to start Sasha there or to start a Hanje Pollard there, really. And maybe we might see the Kanye get some more game time at 13. Um, I'd almost be a bit surprised. I mean, Jeskiel's playing so well, and you want to sort of continue building momentum towards the All Blacks, but that could be somebody that they want to maybe give a bit more game time to in a box jersey as well, especially within the new game plan. Uh, and then off the bench, based on that starting 15, I then think if we were to go with something like that, we'll see Jan Krobler on the bench, Jan Hendrik Best, Spencer Koch. We won't look here, I think if he's fit, we'll be on the bench. I think we'll continue with a 6-2 split, um, in which case we'll see Mark Ruben start and Quaker Smith. We might see, for example, if he's fit, Arkes Neyman on that bench, maybe even see an Arkes Neyman and Ruan Nokia. Nokia. On the bench, and then just Quaker Smith. Um, I'd like the one to find a an opportunity as well. I think that he's someone that's really going to fit into the game plan well, and it would be nice to give him a chance. And then I think they'll continue to look to give Ponte part of game time, um, so that if he needs well, so that I mean, at this stage, he's probably going to start against the All Blacks. Sad Fami Gomez, who has another great game this weekend, he makes a really good case for himself. So if we were to take those couple of the changes, I think we might see. I'd be very surprised if we saw, for example, an Apple Fassi. I think that um, having players like Rilleru, um, David Jalendi, Lukanya Arnon, for example, this weekend really helps Sasha Fahim and do in the number 10 jersey. Um, so, yeah, I think that's very important with regards to, to, to building up Sasha's confidence and the way he's playing within this side. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Smash a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon.